Hey folks, welcome back to Canadian Snack Time. In today's episode, I'm talking about Nielsen Dairy. It's a, pro it's a company based out of uh, Toronto, Ontario. It's a Canadian company. So the company was founded by a guy named William Nielsen in uh, 1893. It was an independent dairy producer, so they, they made like milk, right? And then eventually they started making things like cream and ice cream, and then eventually uh, candy bars. Yeah. Um, uh, so eventually the company was uh, sold to George Weston Limited in uh, 1947, um, becoming part of the I think it's called the Saputo Group. So, so what is it? Saputo Corporate Group, after George Weston Limited sold the dairy unit in 2008. Um, now, the product I'm talking about specifically is uh, the uh, Crispy Crunch candy bar. <laughs> yeah. Um, I've actually got this old, old candy tin, so I keep my spare change in. So, there he is. There's Mr. William Nielsen, right there. You can see the, the dairy cart. Yes, this was celebrating a hundred years of, of Nielsen's chocolate, Canada's chocolatier. And there's the crispy crunch on the side there. Now the crispy crunch was created by a, uh, an employee of the Nielsen company, this guy named Harold Oswin. He started out as a candy roller, rolling hard candy at the age of 14, working in the Nielsen factory, and was eventually promoted to candy maker in the late 1920s. And then the company had this contest, so Harold had this dream. He, he'd always wanted to make a candy bar made out of peanut butter. Peanut butter, right? So. He entered this contest and submitted the concept, which was the, the Krispy Crunch. And he won the contest! And he won a whole five dollars, yeah. Uh, I'm sure that was a lot more back then. And uh, they, they, they altered it a bit. They flattened it, so you'll see it when I open it, it's a pretty flat candy bar, and uh, eventually what had happened was uh, the candy bar brand, the various candy bar brands sold by, or produced by uh, the Nielsen company was sold to the British company uh, Cadbury, yeah, so Cadbury now makes uh, Crispy Crunch and the, the various other uh, Nielsen candy bars. Now, Krispy Crunches were at one point available in the U.S. as they were sold with the uh, Pro Set cards, like they were like baseball cards, sports cards, right? So if you grew up in the 90s collecting a sports card, you might, uh, you might be familiar with the Krispy Crunch. Now, the Cadbury Krispy Crunch isn't quite the same candy bar as the Nielsen Krispy Crunch was, um, because when Cadbury bought the brand, they also changed the recipe. So it's, uh, it's less salty, more sweet, and uh, the uh, the can the crunchy kind of filling is a bit different. Um, I actually kind of like that mix of salty and sweet, so uh, it's too bad they changed the recipe, but uh, here, I'm I'll, I'll gonna get this, open this guy up and uh, show you what it looks like. Try it out. Alright. There we go. That, that's cool. I like that. It's on this kind of uh, paper tray, I guess. It, if it melts, that keeps it from sticking to the, the wrapper, right? Uh, but, uh, let me get them out of there. Uh, Alright. 
Mm. Mm, there you go. That's what the crunchy inside looks like. I mean, you can see it's a pretty flat candy bar. Mm. One of the things I find about the crispy crunch is it really sticks to your teeth. Yeah. So, uh, remember, kids, always brush your teeth really well after eating a candy bar or any kind of candy. So you don't get cavities like I did. <laughs> Alright, well, that is a crispy crunch. Could, could you hear it? I was chewing on it. Could you hear the crunchiness? Yeah. Well, if you ever get the chance to try one, you'll you'll see how crispy it is. You'll hear that crispiness when you're chewing on it. Uh, all right. Well, um, that's it for today's episode. And uh, maybe we'll look at uh, more of the Nielsen candy bars that are now made by. Cadbury in future episodes. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time on Canadian Snack Time.